How to prayerfully destroy demonic altars attacking you. Ella, where have you been? Are you alright? I'm okay, James. I, I had a moment, but I'm back now. I was so worried about you, Ella. I'm just glad you're home. I'm sorry for making you worry, James. But I think, I think things might be starting to look up. Really? What happened? I met someone on the road, a pastor. He reminded me that we're never alone, that there's always hope, even in our darkest moments. I'm glad you found some comfort, Ella. And I'm here for you, always. Well, he suggested that I start fasting and praying, especially at midnight. He said it could help us break through the darkness that's been surrounding us. Fasting and midnight prayers. It sounds like a powerful way to strengthen our faith and seek guidance. Exactly, James. I think it could be just what we need to find our way forward. Then let's do it together, Ella. Let's embark on this journey of faith side by side. Heavenly Father, you revealed to my heart your teachings. You give me strength I never knew I had. You lifted up this broken child and put me on my feet. Your peace pours out over me from the sacred wounds of Christ. And when the enemy rises up, you cast him out far from me. For all this and more I thank you, O loving Lord. Your abundant grace and mercy fill my heart with joy. You are so good to me. In the Lord Jesus Christ I find the deepest meaning. I know that I am loved. And with your spirit alive in me I can love others more and more. This world may be in turmoil, but I know for sure who I am. I am your child, forever free, in the grace of God I am home. Thank you blessed Lord, for my life and for your love. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Dear God, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I admit that I am not right with you, and I want to be right with you. I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. The Bible says in Romans 10 verse 9 inches if I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead, I will be saved. I believe with my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus is the Lord and Savior of my life. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. I challenge my environment with the fire of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ. I purge my foundation with the blood of Jesus Christ. Any evil pillar in my environment, supporting any power that is attacking me. Collapse forever, in the name of Jesus. Any pillar of witchcraft supporting witchcraft attacks in my life. Be crushed to powder, in the name of Jesus Christ. Any environmental evil altar, attacking my destiny. Be crushed to powder, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Any satanic image representing my destiny. Be crushed to powder, in the name of Jesus Christ. Any pillar protecting my enemies against my arrows. Collapse, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the fortress of my enemies crumble, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the confidence of my enemies be crushed, in the name of Jesus. Let wisdom of my enemies become foolishness, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let my enemies make the mistake that will advance my cause, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the strength of my enemies become weakness, in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, shoot your arrows and scatter your enemies in my life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the altar of the enchanters in my environment, crumble to pieces, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let God swallow my enemies in his anger, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. According to your word in Isaiah 44 verse 25, that frustrateth the tokens of the liars, and maketh diviners mad, that turneth wise men backward, and maketh their knowledge foolish. Let the diviners and enchanters in my environment run mad, in the name of Jesus Christ. Any satanic image standing against me, collapse to pieces within seven days, in the name of Jesus Christ. I withdraw my life, family, business, finances, health, visions, education and all my goodness from any satanic altar, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I bring my health before you O Lord. Whatever this mystery sickness is, Father please take it away. 
Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed, save me and I will be saved, for you are the one I praise. Jeremiah 17 14 It is written in Jeremiah 30 verse 17 inches but I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. Father heal me from these evil sickness in Jesus' name. Amen. Every altar of poverty in my place of birth, working against my prosperity, burn to ashes, in Jesus' name. Every satanic priest, ministering against my prosperity in any evil altar, die by fire, in the name of Jesus. Any covenant in my life that is strengthening the stronghold of poverty, break, in the name of Jesus. Every stronghold of poverty, in the place where I am living now, and in my place of work, I pull you. I break every cauldron of poverty in my life, in the name of Jesus. It's as written in Deuteronomy 8.18 It is God who gives us the power to make wealth. And because he is my father and helper, I cannot ask him for bread and he gives me stone. He shall establish me me and my household financially in Jesus' name. Amen. In Genesis 1 27, 28, So God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Also in Psalm 113, 9, He maketh the barren woman to keep house, and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord. I break every curse of barrenness upon my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power of darkness inflicting unfruitfulness upon my life, I bind you in Jesus' name. I destroy every cord of barrenness tied around my marriage and family in Jesus' name. I loose upon my life and marriage all of God's blessings of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus Christ. According to you word in Exodus 23 verse 26 No woman in your land will miscarry or be barren, I will fulfill the number of your days. This is my portion in the might name of Jesus. My children shall surround my table in Jesus' name. Amen. As from today onwards, we shall not know any want or stagnation. We shall soar high like the eagles. We are more than a conqueror. Jesus has taken over and the battle is over. We have stepped into our season of goodness and mercies. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Wow! May the name of the Lord be praised forever. Amen. James, thank you for coming in. Please, have a seat. Thank you, sir. Is everything alright? Everything's fine, James. In fact, I have some exciting news to share with you. I've been offered a position abroad, and I'll be relocating with my family in the coming weeks. That means we'll need someone to take over as manager here, and after careful consideration, I've decided that you're the best person for the job. Thank you, sir. I won't let you down. I know you won't, James. Congratulations on your employment. James, what's the big news? You look so happy. Ella, you won't believe it. I've just been offered a job as a manager at a multi-million dollar firm. James, that's amazing. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, Ella. This is just the beginning for us. With this job, we can finally start building the future we've always dreamed of. I couldn't be happier, James. We've been through so much together, and now it feels like everything is falling into place. I can't wait, James. Our dreams are finally within reach. Thank you Jesus for this work you have started on our life. Are you feeling okay, Ella? I don't know, James. I just feel so nauseous all the time. Maybe we should go see the doctor. It's been going on for too long. Well, Mrs. Ella, it seems that your symptoms are indicative of something unexpected. What do you mean, doctor? What's wrong with me? 
You're not sick, Mrs. Ella. In fact, you're pregnant. About four weeks along, to be exact. Sometimes, these things happen when we least expect them. It's a blessing, really. Ella's eyes fill with tears of joy as the reality of her pregnancy sinks in. She reaches for her husband's hand, her heart overflowing with gratitude and love. James, we're going to have a baby. I can't believe it, Ella. This is... incredible. Finally the Lord has remembered us. What God cannot do, does not exist. Who's at the door? I'm not expecting anyone. Mrs. Thompson, what are you doing here? Ella, my dear child, there's something I need to tell you. What is it, Mrs. Thompson? What's wrong? What is it that you had to come all the way here at this time of the night? It's about your misfortunes all these years, my dear. I, I'm the one responsible. What do you mean, Mrs. Thompson? How could you? I, I was jealous, jealous of the love your mother. I, I did something terrible, and the Holy Spirit has been troubling me for days now. I can't sleep. I can't rest, I can't do anything. I have to confess, I don't want to die. What did you do, Mrs. Thompson? What did you do to us? I, I cursed your family, Ella. I placed a hex on your bloodline out of jealousy and spite. But now, I can't live with the guilt any longer. I had to come and confess. How could you, Mrs. Thompson? How could you do something so cruel? You were my mom's friend. I was wrong, Ella. I was so wrong, please forgive me, dot, I couldn't bear to see your mother always speaking so highly of you, while she belittled my own children. I was jealous, and in my jealousy, I, I did something terrible, how could you, I was innocent, you made me go through all those hurtful years. Anyways, I forgive you, Mrs. Thompson, holding on to anger and resentment won't change the past. What's important now is that we move forward with forgiveness and healing. Thank you. You have no idea what this means to me. I overheard your conversation with Mrs. Thompson. You handled that with so much grace, Ella. It wasn't easy, James, but first know it was the right thing to do. Forgiveness is a powerful thing. Besides God has restored our lost years. He gave us double for our trouble. So there is no need holding grudges. Let God be the judge. You did well, my dear. I am proud of you. Mrs. Thompson was abandoned by everyone even her own children. She suffered loneliness, sickness and hunger. Months later, Ella delivered a set of twin. And they lived happily ever after. There is no problem too big for God to solve. Whenever we are faced with problems we as humans can't explain or have no solution to, we need to table the matter to God in prayer. Understanding and raising altars of prayer is crucial for deliverance and freedom from negative forces, as evil altars can have a destructive impact on one's life, but through prayer and spiritual fortification, victory can be achieved. Thank you for watching. Please share this video for more visibility. Also kindly support the channel by hitting on the subscribe button below, like our video, leave your contributions or experience in the comments section below, and remember to turn on post notifications to the channel for more interesting and life-changing videos. God bless you.